Steve Avey, Truvit South Lion. Uh, location number two. Uh, Tyler and I opened this up uh, five years ago, and I would say that a lot has changed in five years. We started building number one, 3,000 square feet. Moved over to location number two, 5,000 square feet. That was uh, right before finishing three years in. I actually do have a really interesting story, and basically it's, it comes about how this all came to be. So Tyler and I actually used to work together at a different gym, a uh, different gym franchise, different place, and uh, at one point, he took off to open up True Fit Howell, first location. I stayed on at that gym as the head trainer. After about seven months, I ran into Tyler at one of our local watering holes, and I basically told him how proud I was of him, how awesome what he was was doing, and how jealous I was that I wish that somehow I could get involved. And I told him that if he ever needed help at his current location or at a separate location, I was in. Well, that conversation led to another conversation, and I think it was only a couple months, and I was signing the lease on the location that would become Truth Itself Lion. Everyone's heard Tyler kind of joke around a little bit about like, you know, now when things open up, how, you know, there's systems in place and there's, you know, it's kind of like, it's like, here's what you do. Here's the book. You know, he's got the book, the ebook, to be honest. He's got it, right? Understand that when we opened up, we had very few systems. When he talks about like, hey, tried and tested, he means that because a lot of that first year, that second year was seeing what did and didn't work. And we tried a lot of things. We learned a lot of marketing tactics. We spent a lot of money on marketing tactics that didn't work. And it just felt like there was times where we weren't growing. And that's why I think where the new people coming in, you know, they're loving the environment, what they see, but they may miss out on some of that first year, second year, what are we doing? Because I'll tell you that, that's what it was. It was honestly a handful of people with similar ideology, some similar dreams, fighting like hell to make an idea work. When it comes down, that's why you're gonna hear when people, what is true fit? You're gonna hear the word community. Why? Because deep down, that's what it is. I'll say this, we can plan on a business side of things for a community to happen and for it to work out, but if it doesn't work out, there's nothing we can do. The fact is, it worked out for us. The community that has grown within each studio and then across studios is amazing. We are all here, we all have abilities, we all have skills, we all have purpose. And I don't know how to give less than 100%. I know it probably comes off a little egotistical and you know what, it probably is because that's the attitude I have to have to be successful, not just in business, but in life. Um, I don't think that I have a way of backing down from that. I can't, and I think a lot of this comes from work ethic. And when I was raised, I grew up in a farmhouse and my family business was stamped concrete. And it was always work hard. And that's exactly what I do, is work hard.